الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى أهل وصوب يا جمعين ما بعد فالسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته We welcome you back to our dollars training and coaching program and we ask commentator to bless our efforts So this is a new training on importation and the very first thing I'm going to be discussing is the platform So the only platform we recommend to import your product from is alibaba.com So don't use other ones, don't use 1688 don't use Aliexpress, all those ones are going to give you issues as a beginner. The second thing is the product. Of course, you'll have chosen your product from Facebook ad library. You'll have tested it, run test ad, make sure the product is selling. Then, you now go to Alibaba to search for the product and to charge the supplier. So the next thing to charge the supplier regarding the product. So when you go to Alibaba, so when you go to Alibaba, search for the product you want to sell. So when you are searching for the product, make sure when you look at it, you can see that you see $4.6 to $16. So this highest price is going to be the price for low quantity. If you are buying like one, two, three to 10. So you can also go down and check for other similar products based on what you have already tested and you want to sell. So let's assume I want to sell this particular one. Let me open it. So you can see, the person saying if I want to buy from 10 to like 500 pieces, I'm going to be paying $8.7. But if I want to buy more than 500 pieces, I'm going to be paying this. So based on the number of quantity you want to buy, the price is going to reduce. So basically, the person is selling it for $8.7. So if you want to charge this person up for this particular product, you just click on contact supplier. So you are going to write, you can just click on this, what is the best price you can offer. So you can ask what is the best price you can offer and some other things you like to ask then you send it as inquiry so when you send it it's going to be sent as a message you can see it here you can just close this you can see the message up here you can expand it or go to messenger so this is the message here so you can see the message what is the best price you can offer so for 10 pieces these are automated messages the person is going to come online to respond to you so you're going to chat the person up try to price it down that you want to buy 20 pieces that what is the best price the person can give you things like that when you are chatting with the supplier make sure you request for the real image of the product that you are going to be getting so the person is going to unbox the product and snap it or do the video and send you the video or the real image it's very important because they might actually send you something different from what you actually ordered. So this is very important. So this is how to chat with the supplier. The next thing is choosing the importer. We are going to import the product for you from China to Nigeria. So the way you are going to find importer is by using these importation companies. So if you go to Alibaba. So when you are on Alibaba, you can search Nigeria importation or importer so you are going to see a lot of people who are importing from china to nigeria you can see ship to nigeria you can see them so when you contact any of these guys make sure you get their whatsapp number ask them to add you to their whatsapp group where they have the other people they are importing for they are going to give you their address in nigeria and their address in china you should do your own due diligence to make sure these people are legit. There are a lot of them, you can see. So one way is that just ask them to give you their WhatsApp number and ask them to add it to their WhatsApp group where they have other people they are importing for. And also you can do a video call with them, try to see them or something like that. So this is one way. The other way is that if you find other people who are doing e-commerce and they are using these importers, just ask them, please, which importer are you using? They can give you okay i'm using this and they are good so just collect their number chat them up and you can use them too but if you are using them from you are getting them from this ali baba website make sure you do your own due diligence to make sure they are legit so that is that we are going to give the address of our own importer to the supplier so supplier is going to calculate the price of the products you want to sell to us maybe 20 or 30 products and the supplier will also calculate the cost of shipping the product from his own office from his own factory to our importer's address in China. So when the importer receives it, he's not going to tell us that, okay, I've actually received the product and he's going to now bring it to Nigeria for us. 
one thing you must do is that when the supplier is packaging it, you have to give the supplier the name, your own name and your phone number. Your name and your phone number, let that be written on the product so that when it gets to the importer, importer is going to know that, okay, this is a product from this particular person that is having this particular phone number. So your name and your phone number, very important. So it's going to be on the product and it's going to send it to the importer. So when the importer receives the product, it's going to let you know, or you're going to call the importer, have you received it? Call the supplier, have you sent it out? Something like that to know that, okay, the product is now with the importer. So after maybe one, two, three, four, five days, the importer is going to bring it to Nigeria for you. So you are not going to pay the importer until the product gets to Nigeria. So if you want to pay for the product on Alibaba, you know the supplier will have calculated the cost of the product and the cost of shipping it to the importer in China. So if the if everything is hundred dollars, there are ways of paying. So if you want to pay, the very first way is that you can open dom account, domiciliary account in any bank in Nigeria. You try to get a card, dollar card. So you are going to buy dollars from Aboki. So when you buy dollars from Aboki, you deposit it in your domiciliary account. Then you move it to the account that is linked with the card because when you have a domiciliary account and you have a dollar card that dollar card itself usually comes with another separate account number so you are going to move it from your dom account original dom account to the account number that is linked with the card then you use the card to pay on alibaba that's one way the second way is by using cheaper cheaper account you open download cheaper on play store register and you buy dollar from there and use the card to pay or you can also use any alternatives that you know that you know it works so these are the ways to pay some people use paper but i don't recommend that because they might block your account anytime you are going to lose a lot of money so a lot of my money is still with paper till today i'm unable to get them back so this is it so these are to pay and if you want to pay on alibaba make sure you are paying through alibaba's portal don't let the supplier to just give you one bank account or one paper account to send the money to and you can send the money to him off Alibaba, they might scam you. There are a lot of scammers from the suppliers. So that's why you have to be very careful. So make sure you pay through Alibaba's portal. Alibaba's payment portal. Then you pay. Then the, uh, the product will be shipped to your importer and the importer will import it to Nigeria. So if you want to pay the importer, I said the importer is only paid when the product gets to Nigeria. So they will have told you their price that, okay, for one kg, you are charging this amount of money. You have seen that on Alibaba. So when you can also bargain but most times that's just fixed so when you want to pay them is when the product gets to nigeria they're going to tell you that the product has actually got to nigeria and it is maybe 2 kg or 5 kg or 10 kg and the price is this so you're going to transfer the money to them you let them know then you go and collect it at the airport or their office in the Kedja. so you can also send your rider to go and collect it for you if you are living outside lagos you have to come and collect it by yourself or if you have somebody you can ask to collect it for you and send it to you where you live so this have to pay the importer you pay them in naira although it's going to be valued in dollars but they are going to convert it to naira for you at their own rating and tell you to pay and you pay in naira then you go and collect your product so what are the solutions we offer is that because of this azu of trying to create domiciliary account or cheaper account to get dollars or try to find a legit importer or something like that that's why we're also doing the service for Alal Dollars members only. Only the Muslims who are from Alal Dollars. So if you are interested in importing a particular product, you can go to our support group. When you go to the support group, tell them you want to import a particular product, you want to buy and import a particular product. We are going to get the details of the product for you. We are going to charge the supplier and help you to order the product from Alibaba. You only pay us in Naira, we buy dollars for you and pay the uh, for the product on Alibaba. Also, we are going to use our own importer to get the product to Nigeria. So when the product gets to Nigeria too, we are going to tell you the amount you are going to pay. You pay it and we get the product for you. So if you are living in maybe Badon or anywhere in Nigeria, then we can send the product to you to have it if you want to use our own solution. But that's not actually not compulsory. You can also do it by yourself using the ways I've mentioned. So this what I want to tell you about the importation is something that is not hard. Just make sure you are doing your own due diligence and don't allow anybody to scam you. Don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel and recommend it to your loved ones. Assalamu alaikum wa